could have done it. Who was the one to put Julian into an early grave? Who was cold-blooded enough to kill him at his own cannery and make him sleep with the fishes? <laughs> Literally. Could it be Teresa? Or Ethan? Louise? Pilar? Ivy? Rebecca? Or TC? Or was it dear Dr. Eve? Each and every one of them is a perfect suspect. And then, of course, the Sheridan. And Antonio, Louise's brother. <laughs> Chief Bennett doesn't even know about them yet. But either one of them could have done it as well. So, who put all this murder and mayhem into motion? You, you, you lovely old witch, you. <laughs> <laughs> There's seven more years of bad luck for Harmony. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we will be starting our approach into Bermuda International Airport shortly. Please return to your seats and secure your seatbelts. Thank you. How's she doing? She's still asleep. I'm sure she's still dreaming. At least she's not sleepwalking again. Yeah. What do you think she could have been dreaming about to get her so upset? I have no idea. But she was definitely. She was talking about when she said she took everything away from someone. And then when she said it's over, he's dead. Yeah. Who was she even talking about? I don't know. She has amnesia. She doesn't know anybody else but us. I gotta tell you, hairs on the back of my neck stood up when she said he's dead. The way she said it? Who in Diana's past deserves to die? Before anyone starts questioning me, I'd like to know where Teresa and Pilar disappeared to last night. Really? Well, I'd like to know why your dress smelled of fish when you came back to the mansion. Where were you, Rebecca? Well, I'd rather find out why the cleaning staff saw fish guts trailing from Ivy's wheelchair. Where did you go, Ivy? How dare you ask me about anything, you devious little slut? Don't call my daughter names. All right, that is enough. Now, I don't want to hear another word out of anyone. Ladies, we're just trying to investigate a possible homicide here. We need your help. Now, Julian might have been murdered, but I'm going to get to the bottom of this no matter what I have to do. Now, I need to know where each one of you were last night. Sam, are you saying that we're all suspects? That's right. Until we can figure out what happened to Julian, everyone's a suspect. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm just clumsy. I'll help you clean. Thanks. Miguel, look what you make Kate do. I'm sorry. Okay, but I know what's wrong, Charity. I know why you haven't been acting like yourself lately. Really? Why? I was at the skating pond, and I figured it out. Good. Kate's afraid that Miguel knows what she did to poor Charity. Now the real Charity's going to be rescued, and Kay is so busted. I would hold the hand of the one who could leave me places, and kiss the lips of the one who could sing so sweet. So, you were 
were at the pond. Yes. And like I said, I figured out why Charity's been acting so strangely. It's because of her premonitions. What? Her premonitions? What do you mean? Look, everybody knows that Charity has premonitions all the time. All right, and, and a lot of them are really terrible. You know, in fact, I can't remember the last time she had a good one. Neither can I. You know, most of her visions show her terrible things. You know, and it's got to be taking a toll seeing such awful things in the future all the time. No, no. That's not it, Miguel. That's not it. Look, Charity, when you first started having these premonitions, I did some research. Okay, and I found out that people that are gifted like you, they, they sometimes blame themselves for all the bad things they see in their premonitions. Right, and they, they feel like there's some kind of conduit for pain, and they start pushing away all the people that they love because they think that somehow they can protect them from all these bad things. Yeah. That's excellent, Miguel. I think you're right on. Charity's pushing you away because she's trying to protect you from all the bad things she's been yeah. seeing. And at, at first, I just dismissed it. Okay, because I thought that our love was so strong that this kind of thing couldn't happen to us. But when you started acting so weird, it came back to me. What I'd read. And that's gotta be the explanation. That's gotta be it. What else could it be? No. No, it's Kay. Look at Kay's guilty face. So it's gonna be okay, Charity. We can work through this. I know we're still going to be together forever. Miguel still doesn't know what Kay did. How can Timmy ever get the real charity rescued? Pretty bad dream. Yeah, it was awful. What were you dreaming? Oh, it was horrible. I, I was filled with this terrible guilt. I felt like I had taken something from someone. <laughs> Almost as if I had taken someone's life. Oh my god. I also dreamed that I was walking around on the plane. Was I sleepwalking again? Yes, but, but we were with you. Oh dear, I'm so embarrassed. Well, don't be, because we explained it to the stewardess. None of the other passengers, they even hardly know this. Oh, I hope not. I don't want to know what's up there. Who are you dreaming about? Who are you dreaming that you took something from? Are you trying to get revenge on somebody? I, I remember someone, but it, it's all so vague. You know what, it was someone who had hurt me. It would hurt me badly. Can you remember who? No. No, I can't remember. You know what, though? I, I do remember something very clearly. What? The smell of fish. A strong smell. I, I remember the smell of tuna. <laughs> All right, ladies. I'll question you one at a time. And no more accusations. Now, I just want to know where each one of you were last night. I've lost everything and it's all your fault. Damn you, Julian. Damn. You took my daughter's innocence, Julian Crane. You will pay. You will pay. You have made my life a living hell for over 20 years, Julian. Well, now it's your turn. I'm going to send you to hell where you belong. Julian, you cockroach. Where are you? Oh, you slept with that little tramp, and now I have nothing.
get away with hurting my sister, do we? When I find you, I'm gonna forget I'm a cop. Now, who wants to go first? Ivy? Pilar? Who wants to tell me where they were last night after Julian ran out of the party? Timmy! Anyone? Hey, Timmy. Your aunt is looking for you. Hello, Timmy! Timmy, are you here? Timmy? Timmy! Oh. Oh, what's wrong with Timmy's pencils? She looks so frantic. Well, I was so worried. You didn't tell anyone about Katie's spell, did you? Timmy didn't tell. Timmy thought Miguel had it all figured out. But he just thinks Charity is affected by her premonitions. What? Miguel thinks that Charity's pushing him away because she's afraid she'll cause him pain. Oh, oh that poor fool is so in love he'd believe anything. <laughs> and he has no idea how wrong he is. Well, never mind about that. I wanted to make sure you understand the gravity of revealing Kay's secret. Jimmy knows. Because if you do reveal it, then everyone will find out about the Book of Spells. And then that would mean we're through. Jimmy knows. Everyone will find out that Tabby's a witch. Yes, and that'll be the end of us. Come on, let's listen and see what those brats are up to. Hey, can I just steal her for a sec? Yeah. Thanks. We have to do something. To what, Master? I don't know. Um. Okay, okay. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him it's stupid. Tell him his theory's wrong, and and you just don't like him anymore. All right. Okay. Look, Miguel. I don't want to be mean. Really, I don't. But this theory that you're having, that I'm pushing you away to protect you from my premonitions, it's, well, it's stupid. What? Stupid. You and Race are so off base, it's ridiculous. The problem is not the premonitions, Miguel. The problem is you. I am pushing you away because you're smothering me. Charity, you don't mean that. Oh, don't tell me what I mean. Miguel. I told you before, I've outgrown this relationship. You're a sweet guy, really you are. But Miguel, I don't want sweet anymore. What I want is fun, exciting, hot. I want to party, woo! And I just don't see you jumping on the party bandwagon, do you? Face it, Miguel, we are not right for each other anymore. you feel it, Timmy? Miguel's pain. Ooh, I can almost smell it. Oh, it's so delicious watching humans suffer. You're going to regret becoming a real boy. I hate to tell you this, but you are going to regret it. What's the problem? Either you have an alibi for last night, or you don't. Ivy and Rebecca were the ones who hated Julian the most. Oh, don't we hated Julian because she got her pregnant by Julian. So she hated him. No, Ivy wanted anything. Julian dead for disowning Ethan. All yes. right, oh, that is enough. Well, why don't you ask Luis, huh, Chief Bennett? He was in a rage last night when he found out that Julian slept with Ethan. Okay, his uh, that's it. Oh my God. Look, this isn't gonna work. All right, you take Ivy and Rebecca into the other room, and I'll stay here and talk to Pilar and yeah. Teresa. Absolutely not! Luis is a suspect! What if he traps us into saying something incriminating? Ivy, Luis is a good and decent cop. Nevertheless, I will not be questioned by him. And neither will I. <sighs> All right. I'll question you too. Luis, you stay here with Pilar and Teresa. You're gonna let him question his own mother and sister? How could he possibly be unbiased? Ivy, I'm going to be questioning our son. 
Ethan? He's a suspect too. Now this is a close-knit community. It can't be helped. Now I want both of you to go into the library and I'll be in shortly. Fine. There is no way that Luis is going to report anything incriminating that Teresa and Pilar say. I agree. The fix is in. Now, this isn't going to get any easier, all right? But we have to question everyone. I know. It's probably a waste of time, since there's probably dozens of people we don't even know who wanted Julian dead. You're right. I'm having a hard time believing it is someone we know. Never being that attentive with you, Liz. Oh, thanks a lot, Doc. Got any more salt to rub in my wounds? I'm sorry, but it just kills me to see you standing by doing nothing while Brian falls harder and harder for Diana. What am I supposed to do? I don't know, but if you don't do it fast, you're gonna lose any chance of getting Brian back. They'll be so closely bonded, you'll never get them apart. How are you doing, Miss? Thank you. You must be a wonderful actress. I'm sure you'll get that part. Thank you. Uh, we're, we're sure she will, too. What's she talking about, part? When you were sleepwalking, we told her that you were rehearsing a scene for a soap opera. Rehearsing a scene? Great. Oh, that must be a very dramatic one, too. It's over. He's dead. <laughs> so real, it gave me the chills like you really had killed someone. <laughs> Thank you. You know, are we going to be landing soon? Yes, sir. We're on a crutch right now. Brian, did I really say those things? You were just dreaming. Don't let it upset you, okay? Maybe that's why the dream seems so real, though. Maybe I do kill someone. You're wrong, Charity. You can't just stop loving someone overnight. Something else is going on. Think whatever you want to think. But I'm telling you, my premonitions have nothing to do with the way I feel. You're wrong. And I'm going to prove it. All right, we're going to do some more research. And if I can prove to you that it's a possibility, then we can see someone. Maybe Dr. Russell can help us through this. I love you, Charity. I'm not going to let you get away from me. Come on. I can't wait to hear what Kay comes up with next. Oh, I can't believe this. I thought for sure Terry and Miguel were going to be done by now. One hard nut to crack, all right. Okay, I've got to think of a way to fix this. Um. Okay, think, 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 think. Premonitions, premonitions. Prem <laughs> I've got it. I'm gonna use one of Charity's premonitions from the past. That will rip Miguel and Charity apart for good. had to be a dream. I, how could I kill someone? Why would I? Well, there's no way that you could have. No, I mean, it's just got to be the fact that I, I can't remember my past. You know, I just was so sure that there'd be some sort of clue for me in Harmony that it would open some sort of window. Hey, I'm sorry things didn't work out. Yeah. You know, the thing is, is that even though I didn't find out anything in Harmony, I still have this nagging feeling that there's still something there for me. As if I left something behind, something very close to my heart. Look, I know this is pointless. Because I know neither one of you could have killed Julian. It's my job, and I have to do it. Of 
course you do, son. But, Luis, Sam can't be serious about um, considering you a suspect, too. Well, Mama, everyone who was at that party last night's a suspect. Well, hey, let's just start, okay? Now, there were a lot of people at the party last night who were angry with Julian, and that's why he ran off. Mama, Teresa, look, I can take you both off the suspect list if you just tell me that you calmed down and you went home. That you didn't chase Julian. You did go straight home, didn't you? No, Mew. I went looking for him. I tried to find him. Why? What were you gonna do if you found him? I wanted to kill Julian. latest plan. Timmy can. He just wishes he could get Charity out of that block of ice. Don't even think about it. Okay, there's this one time that Charity had a premonition of Miguel and me together. Uh-huh. How does that help? Oh, it's perfect. Okay, come on, here's what we should do. Timmy, this is wonderful. Kay's reached a whole new level of evil. Do not say any more. Why not, Luis? It's the truth. I wanted to kill Julian, and that's why I left the party. Listen to me. You cannot say this to anyone. Do you understand me? I also wanted to kill him. No. Please, just tell me that you went straight home. I went after Julian. He had hurt my children. I wanted him dead. Please, do not tell me this. Now, I know neither one of you killed Julian, but when you say these things, it makes you sound even more suspect. But it's true, Luis. We both left the party looking for Julian. To find him, and to kill him. Luis, we weren't the only ones. Ivy and Rebecca were just as furious. And Ethan, and TC, and Eve, and even you, son. We all wanted to kill Julian. And anyone who says otherwise is a liar. All right, Rebecca, we'll start with you first. Ivy, wait out here, please. Of course. Rebecca, would you like to sit down? Rebecca. We all know that you were furious with Julian. I certainly was. That's no secret, so was everyone else. I know. Rebecca, did you have a gun in your possession last night? A gun? Me? Where would I get a gun? found you on the floor. Oh, God, I was in pain. I was trying to reach my pain pills there. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. I'm 
want you to sit right here, okay? I'll call the doctor. No, no, no. I'll be fine, I'll be fine if I could just have my pill. Thank you. Rebecca, find one of the staff and have them bring in a heating pad. It might ease the pain. Of course. We wouldn't want poor Ivy to be in pain. I didn't realize you were still in so much pain. It comes and goes. You're still paying such a price of trying to help me turn on the signal beacon in that storm. I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Sam. <clears throat> well, I'm sorry anyway. Are you okay? Yeah, just... <sighs> Nothing, you know. Nothing's the way I thought it was going to be. <sighs> Come here. <sighs> Very convenient time to be in pain, Ivy. It's just the thing to take Sam's mind off the murder and bring him closer to you. Oh, Mom, please, don't incriminate yourself for no reason. Now, you too, Teresa. But yes, there were a lot of people at the party last night who were angry with Julian. But we don't even know at this point that he was murdered. However, until we have evidence to the contrary, we do have to assume that he's dead. And that any one of those people who hated Julian could have murdered him. Yeah. Okay? Well, I'm glad that Antonio didn't come home after all, because he might have been a suspect too. Yeah. Well, I don't think we have to worry about him. No. We know for sure that Antonio wasn't involved in whatever it is that happened to Julian. Oh, it's good to be home, isn't it? It is. Hey, are you going to be able to sleep okay? I'm exhausted, but I'm afraid to go to sleep. I'm afraid I'll start sleepwalking again. Ah, everything will be fine, okay? Tomorrow's a new day. Wake up, the sun will be out. Everything will be A-OK, -okay, I promise. You know, I feel so safe with you. It's as if as long as you're around, all my troubles seem so small. Well, you shouldn't have any troubles. <laughs> now, I'm going to hit the hay, because I am going to get up and go fishing in the morning. So if you need anything, you just knock on the wall, OK? I'm right next door. I'll come running. Thanks, Brian. Good night. Night. Night, all. Night. Night. really starting to depend on you, isn't she? Yeah, I just want her to know that I'll be there for her. It's so different from when we were together. I mean, the last thing you wanted was a clinging vine, and you had no need for a woman depending on you. Well, that was a long time ago, Liz. Things were different then. We were in a different place emotionally, you know? Yeah. So I'm gonna go to bed, huh? Maybe we can talk about this another time, okay? Sure. Fine. Night, Doc. Night. Liz, you remember what I said earlier? Diana's fiance may not be dead. She might even have a husband. The point is, she really doesn't remember anything. So if you could find that person from her past, Brian and Diana would have no future, and maybe you and Brian might. Have you found anything yet? Mm -hmm. We've found a few documents. Reese is putting them together into a booklet. Yeah. Once I get done downloading, I'm going to print it out. And then we can give them to charity. I just hope it's enough to convince her. I do too. I mean, her premonitions really have to be the 
the reason she's acting the way she is. That kid is such a liar. <laughs> I know, isn't it wonderful? <laughs> you know, I was, I was thinking about some of the premonitions that she's had. The one about Sheridan and Luis and the boat exploding and everything. <laughs> yeah, that one was right on the money. I know, and the one about Ethan and Teresa. Yeah, that one came true, you know, and it's got to weigh heavily on Charity's mind. I mean, she also has premonitions that don't come true, too. Like, the one about me and you, that we'd wind up together. Yeah, I remember, but even the ones that don't come true have to be hard for Charity to deal with. They're so intense. I agree, and I'm sure that's the reason she's pushing you away. Miguel... You know Reese and I are your friends, right? And we will do whatever you want us to to make sure that you and Charity end up together. Time for the next step in Kay's plan, Timmy. That was Charity. Perfect. Soon, very soon, you will be mine, Miguel. No, Miguel, don't. Don't touch her. She's in a trance. I mean, it, it could freak her out or something. I'm having a premonition. Sivas, Miguel, you and me. You see us together? No. Not together. You're with someone else. But you're happy. No. Charity, I can't be happy with anyone else but you. Yes. You're happy. And you're with someone else. But you're happier than you've ever, ever been. You're with Kay. What? Kay? Yes. You and Kay. Very happy. What are you talking about, Ivy? Oh. Oh. It's just, you know, nothing is right, Sam. You shouldn't have to question your own son in a murder investigation. I just, I thought... Thought what? Oh, I thought things would turn out differently. You know, I thought we'd be a family, and now I'm a suspect in, in murder. Ivy, I told you, everyone has to be considered a suspect. But that doesn't mean I believe that you did it. <laughs> no, but you actually think I am capable of murder. Oh, and it's all the fault of the cranes, the damn cranes. I heard you say once that it was the curse of the cranes, and you were right. They ruined my life, they ruined our son's life. And now Julian is dead, and he is still tearing us apart from the grave. <laughs> mm. I wonder if Ivy's going to use this pain to get Sam back. If she's smart, she will. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Calm down. I've gotta ask you this question, even though I already know the answer. Now, did either of you have guns last night? Teresa? Mama? Telling me that you both had guns last night? No. How? How did you two get guns? All right. Forget that I asked, okay? If you did have guns, I don't want to know about it. Antonio, I expected a very different answer from both of you. 
We all know what a horrible man Julian Crane was. And what he did to our family. It's unforgivable. Yeah, I know. I'm still convinced he and his family are responsible for Papa's disappearance. And look what he did to me. He got me drunk, slept with me, got me pregnant, and made me lose Ethan. Rebecca's right. Each and every one of us is a suspect. Not even from the grave, if that's where he is. Julian Crane has a chance to destroy our family. Knock on the wall, okay? I'm right next door. I'll come running. I need you. 